guys, it's your girl Naya and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming at you guys with a hygiene haul. I'm honestly so excited to film this. I have quite a few things to show you guys. I got this a big box in the mail. I think you guys are going to be most excited to see what's in there. And then I also have quite a few things from Bath & Body Works. Also, I did pick up some beauty related products. So we're not going to talk too much. We're honestly just going to dive right into these products. If you guys are ready, before we get started, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias as always, which is TikTok and Instagram. Make sure you guys follow me for more hygiene related, girly related content for sure follow me on instagram if you want to keep up with what i do or where i go throughout the day i pretty much post on instagram every day all day so make sure you follow me on both my social medias but without further ado let's just get right into it well, let me get let me get a thumbnail really quick <laughs> okay this stuff is heavy all right to be honest i think we are gonna start off with ulta all right so i did get it all open you guys don't even understand how excited i am ah! Oh my gosh, guys, oh, there is so much stuff in here. You guys, let me just show you guys the inside of this box because it's like insane. We have so many things to open up today, so let's just get started. So I believe maybe like three or four days ago, probably three days ago, I woke up and on Instagram, everybody was posting about new tree heights girls. And I was just like, don't play with me because I will go buy them right now. Everyone on Instagram was posting like, go order your tree heights girls. There's new tree heights girls. And I was just like, ah! new tree heights girls. So I did hop on that new tree heights girls bandwagon and I ordered them. So we do have two new tree heights girls and I'm so excited to smell them. Give you guys my first impressions. Wait, why is there two in here? You guys, I only ordered one of each and okay, hold on. Okay, so the first scrub is actually a pumpkin spice latte and I did order one, but there's two in the box. I'm literally like checking my order thing. You guys, no, it says I only ordered one. So they must have just like, I don't know. It has my name on it and everything. So it's my order. They must have just accidentally put two, but I am not complaining. Like I'm more than happy to have two. The first scent, like I said, is a pumpkin spice latte. The packaging, the color, everything is so, so cute. It's definitely giving fall vibes. I'm so ready to smell it. Okay, let's see. Ready? Let's see. Ooh. That was so satisfying. I love opening a fresh scrub. This smells so good. Okay. I'm gonna tell you guys, so when I first seen this scent got released, I was honestly expecting like Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin by Bath & Body Works. I was expecting something like that, but no, this is definitely giving fresh baked pumpkin pie. It's really giving pumpkin spice. Like it smells like pumpkin spice. It doesn't smell like cinnamon or anything like that. It really does smell like pumpkin spice. It is true to the name. Oh, this smells so good. It's so warm and toasty. It is definitely giving me fall vibes all the way. I already know I'm going to get so much use out of this in the fall. It is honestly, it smells amazing. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh my gosh. This is like my new favorite scent. And I'm still stuck in the fact that they sent me two. But I'm more than happy because this smells amazing. Oh my gosh. If you guys love those nice fall toasty pumpkin pie pumpkin scents you will love this i know a lot of people when starbucks releases like their fall menu i think that one of the most popular drinks is like the i don't know what's called like the brown sugar pumpkin spice drink or whatever it smells like that it, that's the perfect description it smells like pumpkin spice but like brown sugar like it is just so good it is true to the name and i definitely recommend this scent oh my gosh i cannot wait to pull this out in the fall i typically don't wear like pumpkin or like cinnamon or any type of those fragrances in the summer or any other season but the fall um, i actually have my fall scents packed away in one of my hygiene cards but to be honest I, I might pull her out this summer. I might not even be able to wait until the fall because this is just too good. If you guys want to see some pumpkin exfoliators for this fall, run to Ulta's website and order this right now. Then they did actually release one more scent for the fall and that one is Velvet Coffee. Oh, okay. It was still wrapped up, but that is Velvet Coffee. Now I'm really excited for this because a lot of tree head scrubs are discontinued. One of their scents was actually Mocha and Coffee Bean. And I remember when I first found out that that scent was getting discontinued, I looked everywhere trying to find it, but unfortunately I couldn't find it. 
So for them to come out with the coffee scent, I am so excited, especially because I have the Coconut and Coffee OGX body wash. I'm not the biggest fan of coffee scents, but they have really been starting to grow on me. Um, OGX Coconut and Coffee was actually one of my first coffee scents. Um, that was kind of one of my scents that like I dipped my toes in the water, like kind of getting used to it, and I like it. But I don't really have any coffee scrubs, lotions, perfumes, any of that type of stuff. So I'm honestly really happy to have this one. But let's see what it smells like. Are you guys ready for my first impression? Let's see. Wait. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this one. But so far, I definitely like the pumpkin one more. This one, mmm. You know what it kind of smells like? It kind of smells like a burnt coffee. Like, it doesn't smell like a fresh Dunkin' or Starbucks coffee. It kind of smells like black coffee. Like, you guys know, like, really dark coffee, like, no cream, no sugar. That's kind of what this is giving me. It, I, it, I don't know. Like, it smells good at first, but then, like, when you really start smelling it, it's kind of like, uh it almost kind of makes me like nauseous because like when you really like when you first smell it it smells good but then like when it really gets in your nose it kind of has like a weird like after smell you guys know i love tree head but this one is just not one of my favorite scents out of the two new fall scrubs i definitely am on pumpkin spices team velvet coffee mm, she aight, but pumpkin spice is much much better but if you guys are ready to spice up your fall make sure you run to ulta's website and order the new fall tree head scrubs so the next few things I ordered from Ulta, basically I needed to spend a certain amount of money to get free shipping. I hate paying for shipping on any website. That's why I never order from Bath & Body Works because their shipping is like $20 more and then it doesn't even feel like you're getting a good deal because you have to pay this like massive amount for shipping. I just hate paying for shipping. Like that's why I have Amazon Prime. I never pay for shipping. And I think Ulta was you have to spend, I think it was over 30 I think. To get free shipping i don't really remember but i did order a few more things just to get my price up so that i could get free shipping and the next thing that i got was so they're like all wrapped up so let me show you guys so the next thing i got was actually the tahitian vanilla beef tree vanilla be oh okay rewind the next thing i got was the tahitian vanilla bean tree hut scrub no that's still not it okay rewind the next thing I got was a Tree Hut Vanilla Bean Shave Oil. There we go. Um, I have been wanting this one for so long. I believe I have three shave oils. I have Watermelon, Tropic Glow, and Moroccan Rose. And I do vanilla shower routines all the time, especially at nighttime. Because vanilla is just such a nice, cozy, warm scent. I feel like it's a really good scent to end your night off with. And most of the time when I shave my legs, I shave my legs at nighttime so that they're like nice and fresh for the next day so having to use a shave oil that doesn't match my scent is kind of like annoying because you guys know me i'm extra like all my scents have to match they all have to smell the same it's so, like when i'm doing a vanilla shower routine but i have to use like a rose or a watermelon shave oil it just like kind of throws my routine off because these are fragranted like they're scented some people like to say that tree hot products do not linger they very much do like if you put this on you you're gonna smell it so like if i put a watermelon shave oil on top of like a vanilla body wash it's kind of gonna throw the scents off it's not a huge deal because like when you put on your lotion and perfume you're kind of gonna smell more of that than the shave oil but i'm just so happy to finally have the vanilla one now it can finally match with my vanilla routines i love tree head shave oils ever since i bought the moroccan rose that was my first one i have never went back to shaving cream Ever. I have never went back to shaving cream or shaving gel, nothing, because Tree Hut Shaves Oils have changed the game for me. They're just so much easier to shave with, and they're an oil, so obviously when you're done shaving, your legs are just so soft and moisturized. Just honestly the best. If you guys struggle with like nicks or cuts or just like a hard time shaving your legs or shaving your body in the shower, I definitely recommend trying out Tree Hut Shave Oils. Like I said, they have changed the game for me. I have not went back to shaving cream ever since since I've tried these out and I'm so happy I finally got the vanilla one so that's that and then I did get a few more things from Ulta but we're gonna dive back into those towards the end of the video because they are beauty products so if you want to see that make sure you wait until the end of this video okay but moving on which you guys probably has been waiting for Bath and Body Works I believe it was two days ago when Bath and Body Works had their $5.95 lotion sale 
and people were posting about it on Instagram the night before the sale. So I started seeing it and I was like, okay, like I'm going. I literally made my list on my phone trying to like mark out what lotions I wanted. Um, if you guys know, I haven't been shopping at Bath & Butter Breaks that much just because I have, girl, I think you know, I have a lot of products, but I have been finishing up a lot of products. So I don't feel too bad about buying more because a lot have been getting finished up. Like my shelves on my hygiene shelves, some even have like empty spaces because I finished so many products, I have a space to add more. They did have a sale, so I did pick up a few things, of course. I didn't get too much, just a few things. So I will show you guys what I got. First lotion I got was Miss Poppy. Um, Poppy has been like the talk of the talk. I feel like out of all Bath & Body Works newer fragrances, Poppy is the most talked about. Like, Poppy, the minute I walk in, the ladies are like, have you tried Poppy? Have you tried Poppy? I'm like, yeah, I'm here to get the lotion. And then I'll just hear ladies saying, like, have you ever smelled this? I'm like, yeah, it smells really good. And then at least at my store, when I'm walking to Bath & Body Works, they have like a huge picture of the Poppy collection on the side of the store. So it's just like being advertised so big and so well. And everybody has been talking about the scent including everyone on social media everybody in my tiktok comments are like is poppy worth it like i've been hearing so much about it people on instagram are posting how much they love it and i'm actually surprised that i like this because this is a floral and you guys know i don't like florals but i think the reason that i like this one is because it's like a sweet floral i believe i picked up the spray the last time they had a spray sale i believe it was a 5.95 spray sale i got the spray and then i was like i know i'm not supposed to be buying more products but like i feel like i need the rest of the set so i get the rest of the set when there's another sale and then sure enough a few days ago they had a sale on the lotions i was like oh yeah i'm gonna go get poppy so i did pick up poppy if you guys want like a better understanding of the fragrance these side notes are fresh morning dew wild poppies sugared i always butcher this word is it rhubarb i don't know and then juicy pear so it's really good i think like that sugared note and that pear is what makes me like it because it's not like a straight flower it's not straight flower straight floral straight garden it has like a sweetness to it it honestly, oh, it just smells so good. It almost smells familiar to something I might have in my collection, but also very different. Like, it's just kind of a scent. I, it's just different. Like, it smells familiar, but it also smells different. I don't really know what it's reminding me of because I don't really have many florals in my collection, but it's like a fresh, sweet floral. It almost smells like a thousand wishes and like fresh cut lilacs mixed together maybe i don't know i don't really know but it's just so good and i definitely recommend poppy if you guys want my personal opinion on poppy it's definitely worth it go pick it up but that was the first lotion i picked up and then i picked up a few more so the next lotion i picked up was summer melody so i actually got the summer melody spray i believe when it first came out there was a sale because every time bath and body works releases new scents they always have a sale so I picked this up when it first came out in the spray and I loved it. It just smelled so good. And I was like, I don't really want to buy more though. So I was pairing it with sunshine. What's it called? Sunshine? Love and sunshine. I was pairing it with love and sunshine and that was like a really good combo. But I felt like summer melody is just so different that it needs its own set. So eventually I was like, okay, it's a sale. I've been wanting this scent for a while. I'm just going to pick it up to match the spray. So I did pick up Summer Melody. It is just so good. It smells bomb. It smells like like warm, sweet lemons. Um, the scent notes honestly shock me. The scent notes for this one is just golden honeydew and bronze vanilla. And I'm just like, how? I'm not really familiar with like a honeydew scent note. And then I just cannot believe there's vanilla in this the scent notes completely threw me off i smell this i smell lemons like i smell fruity warm lemons it's so good i love it like it's super citrusy but like it's a warm toned scent it's not a cool toned scent and it's just so good but i definitely recommend summer melody for this summer make sure you guys pick this up and get some use out of it before the summer is over because it's perfect for the summer i mean it's literally called summer melody and then the last and final thing i did pick up was a body cream because the lotion sale did include a body cream so the last one i picked up was enchanted candy potion now i wasn't gonna get this one because one of my friends i believe it was mindy on instagram she posted that it was giving her 
cotton candy cloud vibes and i was like mm. Mm. like i already have two cotton candy clouds lotions two shower gels two sprays like i have double sets of cotton candy clouds so i was like why would they come out with another one like they just had cotton candy clouds for sas to me this is not giving me cotton candy cloud vibes when i smelled this i was like oh you're coming home with me and i did not expect to get this one so i made my list even though i didn't really need a list because i only plan on getting two things the only thing i planned on getting was um poppy and summer melody but then i walked past like the halloween section i was like let me just smell this one let me just smell this one and when i smelled it hold on we can smell it together so good it is so good this is sweeter than cotton candy clouds it smells like cotton candy sugar you guys know what this reminds me of it exactly reminds me of a cotton candy or what's it called it's up there on my black hygiene shelf but i can't read it because it's i don't i can't see that far i'm a little bit blind you guys sweet sweet cotton candy that's what <laughs> reminds me so much of sweet cotton candy by body ecology i put a picture on the screen so you guys can see what it is this is exactly what it reminds me of if you guys watched my sweet candy fragrances video i'll have it linked in the description if you haven't watched it i talked about sweet cotton candy by body ecology and i said it smells exactly like cotton candy strawberry sugar it smells just like strawberry cotton candy sugar the sugar that they pour in the cotton candy machine that's what it smells like like it smells like fresh out the box sugar and that is what this is giving me it is giving me cotton candy sugar vibes and it is so good i honestly wish this had shimmer in it because like the little packaging is so like wicked like i don't know giving like halloween vibes like wicked magical vibes and i feel like if this had shimmer in it it would have been perfect does it have shimmer in it? I don't think it does. It probably doesn't. Does it? No, it doesn't. I wish it did, though. Now that I'm smelling it on my skin. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Y'all might have been right. Hold on. Okay, so now that I'm smelling it on my skin, it is a little bit similar to Cotton Candy Clouds. A little bit more than I thought it was now that I'm smelling it on my skin. But at the same time, it's also very different. Like, it's a little bit more sugary than Cotton Candy Clouds. Um, to be honest, I could have got away with not getting this one, but I am so glad that I got this one because I don't have the matching lotion to the Cotton Candy Body Ecology one, and I feel like this matches perfectly. So these side notes are Spell Binding Sugar, Bewitched Berries, and Whipped Pixie Dust. So very magical Halloween scent notes. I love that. That was actually really creative to put those type of scent notes but that's that and i do have one more thing to show you guys so i do have some more bath and body works products but it's actually not from bath and body works um, i post about this all the time on instagram if you guys follow me on instagram you would know but there's this one store it's called plato's closet and people bring in so many bath and body works like the first time i went i found so many rare bath and body works products i was shocked and there were six of them and i bought all six so I went back today just to see if they put out some new things, and they did. So I'll show you guys those two Bath & Butterworks products that I picked up as well. The first one I picked up was Strawberry Pound Cake, and this one is completely full, and I was shocked to see the Strawberry Pound Cake. Now, I do have this one, and you guys are probably like, um, why are you buying Strawberry Pound Cake from like a retail store, like a thrift store, if you already have Strawberry Pound Cake, and Strawberry Pound Cake is still being sold in stores? Well, girl, let me tell you. This packaging is the OG packaging. Every time Bath & Body Works repackages a fragrance, it always smells different. And most of the time, it smells more faint, and that's what I hate. Like, I hate that they repackage my favorite scent, which is A Thousand Wishes, because I already know it's not going to smell the same. And they repackage Strawberry Pound Cake many times, and I do have this packaging. It's about a quarter way gone and it smells the best so i think i have three different packagings of strawberry pound cake and out of those three this is the best one this honestly smells like a strawberry shortbread or like a strawberry yogurt it just smells so good and i love it and i was so excited that they had this and it's completely full it was six dollars so i did snatch this one up and then i got one more product they didn't have they actually did have quite a few new ones quite a few rare ones but they just didn't really smell good to me so i got the ones that smelled the best to me so the next one i got was sweet cinnamon pumpkin now again i also do have sweet cinnamon pumpkin i have it from last year's collection but that one does not smell as good as this one this one smells way better and look at the packaging 
the packaging is way cuter than the packaging of the one i have so i won't be keeping both i will be selling my other packaging and i'll be keeping this one this one was used, you guys can tell, but honestly, I don't care. I have gotten a few different Bath & Body Works products from that store, and some of them were used. It's really not a big deal to me. But this one was also $6, and it just smells so good. Someone on Instagram asked me, does it smell like cinnamon rolls? It doesn't smell like cinnamon rolls. I wish it did. That would be cool. It honestly smells like a pumpkin spice. That's exactly what it smells like, like pumpkin spice. It just smells so good and I love it. I feel like the other sweet cinnamon pumpkin is just like too much pumpkin. Like it's just like, it's different. Like I don't know how to describe it, but this one definitely smells way better than the more recent sweet cinnamon pumpkin. So I'm so excited to have this one in my collection for this upcoming fall. And the best thing about it is that this will pair perfectly with this. So this would be a very good, you know, pumpkin combo. So I'm really excited to use this for this upcoming fall. So that is all I got from Bath & Body Works. Now I'll give you guys a quick beauty haul. All right, so do you guys remember earlier when I told you we were going to come back to that Ulta box? So we're going to hop right back in to the Ulta. To order so I had a few more things wrapped up in here so again like I said Ulta had like a certain amount of money you had to spend to get free shipping and then when I added the shave oil to my order it was still like a dollar or two off so I just tried to find something real cheap to add and they had these lip glosses on sale I believe it was buy one get one 50% off and they were two dollars so if you buy one you would get it for a dollar all right, so these are the Essence Juicy Bum Shiny Lip Glosses. And this one is the, what scent is this one? Does they have like scents? Oh, it does. This one is Crazy Cherry. So this is what it looks like. Hopefully it's a pretty color. And then this last one right here is another Essence Juicy Bomb, and this color is Watermelon Crush. I was not expecting it to be called watermelon because clearly it's brown. It could have been like coffee. Maybe it smells like watermelon. I want to see if it smells like it. I can't smell anything. I don't know. So I did pick up two lip glosses. I honestly love lip gloss. My lip gloss collection has been growing so much. Um, It's crazy how many lip glosses I have. But I've honestly been needing some new ones. So I am glad that I picked these up. And then lastly, as you guys can see, we have a whole a new hairstyle. And I did have to go to the hair store to get a few things to do my hair. And while I was in there, of course, I did, you know, slide past the beauty section. And I picked up a few things. So I actually picked up some more lip gloss. So the first one I picked up was the NK Strawberry Lip Gloss. I actually have this one. But it's just, like, so old. And it's been sitting in, like, my, um like beauty display drawers for a long time and I just figured I would go ahead and get a new one so I did pick this one up so I already know how this one is and how it looks because I have had it many times before in the past and I have it right now but it's just old so I wanted a new fresh one and I really do like this one I definitely recommend NK lip glosses and I've been trying to get more into like lip combos like how people do their lip liner and then their lipstick I have really been trying to get into that I don't have any lipsticks other than two I have two red lipsticks but other than those two I don't have like any colored lipsticks but I did pick up some lip liners so these are both by NK and the first one I picked up is this one and it's in the color dark purple so I actually didn't know this was dark purple when I looked at it it looked like it was a red color so I was like oh I'll get it like I can do a red lined lip and then like a red lipstick because I have a red lipstick but then when I brought it home I was like what the heck like this is purple so I didn't intend to get this color, but I already got it, so I got this one. And then I got another one, and this one is in the shade Pink Sachet, or Sachet, I, I don't know how to say that, but <laughs> we're just going to say it's in the shade Pink, and it's just like a cute baby pink color. So if you guys want to put me on to like lip combos, let a girl know. I know like a lot of people use the Kylie Lip Kit because it comes with a liner and a lipstick and a gloss, right? Or it either comes with a liner and a lipstick. Um, I need to get lipsticks to, like, match these colors or just lipsticks that'll, like, pair with these because I really want to do, like, the lip liner and the lipstick combo because sometimes I just do lip liner and then the lip gloss, but I see people do it with lipsticks and it looks so much better with lipsticks, so... If you guys want to put me on to some lip combos, let a girl know. But I did get these two lip liners. And then the last and final thing I got was my favorite pair of lashes. So I usually get lash extensions, but my lash check is on a vacation. 
very very far away so i can't get my lashes done anytime soon so i went ahead and got my favorite lashes these are the only brand of lashes that i will wear clearly i have glasses I think it's pretty obvious so it's very hard to find lashes that are not too long or that are not too thick it's just hard to find lashes that i can wear with glasses so that like when i blink the lashes don't like touch the glasses or they're not too thick where they like they like hang over my glasses or they like just like touch my glasses and it's just like uncomfortable and these are the only brand that i found that i can wear with glasses and the best thing about this brand is there are so many styles that i can wear with glasses so these are the wildcat lashes that's the brand and then they are in the style mia i honestly love these they're just so so pretty and like look at that packaging like the gold packaging is just everything and i love these lashes so yeah i did pick me up some lashes but that is it you guys we have made it to the end of this video i really really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell so you get a notification every time i post a new video leave me a comment share this video with a friend and i'll talk to you guys in my next one bye guys